Hey, it is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog. Hot off of their 2022 LP, a bit of previous, comes Bell and Sebastian's Late Developers. The album, well, comes as a bit of a surprise. There was minimal, if any, hype before the announcement took place. I, I recall getting an email from Matador Records, the band's long-standing U.S. record label, that directed me to, I believe, Bell and Sebastian's website, which, well, <laughs> was essentially blank. It was like a moving water and dark, and there was no words, nothing. The teaser was literally as minimal as they come. It just told you that something new was coming, and you just didn't know what it was yet. A day or two later, the band dropped I Don't Know What You See In Me with an accompanying music video. The song is catchy, has plenty of solid hooks, and even drops some electro-pop elements that Bell and Sebastian haven't given us much at all over their more than 25-year career. Not that they haven't before, it's just been a while. Then, last Friday, the album came out. My copy here is the limited edition on orange vinyl. It appears to be either a Matador exclusive or the indie retailer exclusive. If you happen to know which one or even how many were pressed, let us know in the comments. So my first few listens have been digital. In fact, I have yet to give this record a spin on vinyl. Today, I will be unboxing it for you, showing you what this orange pressing comes with, and then I will give you my thoughts on the record in a nice little review. So let's get started. First off, late developers. And initially, when I think of late developers, I think of not necessarily developing film. But that's what you get here. Photography has always been a bit of a thing for Bell and Sebastian. You look at any of their covers, and they kind of have this artistic photography element to it featuring people. And you get that here. The back, once again, same individual. And they have the camera this time. And you have the track listing. It's cast in a slightly different color. It's an orange rather than a purple like the front. And I like seeing that because if you watch my videos, you know that colored vinyl, in my opinion, should have some kind of correlation into the record itself. Late Developers does come on a gatefold sleeve and rather than cast in a kind of duotone style, overlay as you see on the front and back. Instead, you have the full color photograph on the inside, yet again featuring the gentleman on both the front and back cover. And what I see here in the photographs he is hanging up, you see the individual that was actually featured on a bit of previous in that cover. And over here you have some general credits on the album itself, and a special thanks that includes quite a few people. On the inside, you have a printed inner sleeve. The photograph is great. It's, it's oh, this is cool too. Uh, on the back, you've got the power lines, the vivid green, the dark sky. The vinyl itself looks to be translucent orange. I don't believe they specify that on the website or the pressing or anything along those lines. They just said limited edition orange vinyl. The reason I know this is translucent is because I can see shapes and objects behind the wax, but it's not super vivid as to what I can see and what I'm looking at. It also comes with this cool printed inner lyric book. The cover, once again, features the same model. You have the track list, and on the inside, you have all of the lyrics with additional photography. I love how on the inside, the colors are all vivid, and on the outside of the packaging, on the outer sleeve, it's kind of Bell and Sebastian standard duo tone uh, styling. This is just a really, really well done piece. Great packaging from the band. Absolutely love it. All right, 
now we've taken a look at my copy of Late Developers on vinyl. Here are my thoughts on the album. A bit of previous was, in my opinion, pretty damn great. I loved a lot of what they gave us on the album. If I hadn't, well, it, it wouldn't have been in my top five albums for 2022. While Late Developers is admittedly still sinking in, I am starting to pinpoint a few favorites, like opener Juliet Naked, and the first single, I Don't Know What You See In Me. There are other hidden nuances that pop up here and there throughout the album that really kind of make me do some double takes. When We Were Very Young snuck up on me. I mean, it's a song about football. And the more I hear it, the more I like it. Then again, I mean, they gave us Piazza New York Catcher, so sports is not an uncommon theme for Bell and Sebastian. Then you have So In The Moment, which made me draw some comparisons to other bands like The New Pornographers. Similarly, Give A Little Time kind of made me think of late era Camera Obscura, mostly in some of the instrumentation. But it doesn't just look outward. The Evening Star harkens back to some of the hooks that you'll hear off of the Life Pursuit, whereas I hear hints of Bell and Sebastian from, say, the late 90s in When the Cynics Stare Back from the Wall. Overall, Late Developers looks both forward and backward. This is quintessential Bell and Sebastian. It's the tried and true indie pop that they've created for decades now, flirting a little bit with Baroque and chamber pop, their go-to sounds. You'll find parallels, throwbacks, call-outs to some of their most classic works, yet they aren't so rooted in the past as to make it drab. Sadly, that's something that may rub some longtime fans wrong. And while I don't think it quite holds up as well as a bit of previous, Many of Bell and Sebastian's albums have, well, they've been growers for me. Given time and dozens more listens, who knows what I'll say. Right now, I'm liking it. Like I said with a bit of previous, that album was really the best thing that they've given us since 2006's A Life Pursuit. Enter Late Developers. While I don't think it quite touches a bit of previous, or even The Life Pursuit, it's still quite far up there. What do you think of the new album? What did you think of a bit of previous? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time.